Hey everybody, we are teaching Tilt Brush. And this Tilt Brush is all about building a city in VR using our VR Tilt Brush tools. So we're going to build a city using the main tools very quickly and easily. It's going to be fairly generic, but you can use these tools to customize and build as big or small as a city as you like. So this is mostly going to be used for landscape purposes and almost everything we do is going to be using that straight edge. So we're going to build this city in tilt brush. If you would like to listen to rock and roll while you do so, that is strongly recommended. So I'm going to activate the straight edge and there's a lot of different ways we could build this. There's a lot of different br uh, brushes we can use. Another thing to use besides the straight edge is I'm going to use the lock feature so that when I do straight lines, they're all going to be perfectly vertical and all in a line so I don't have to worry about lining things up quite as much. Now, since this is going to be a city, I'm going to make it fairly big for this example. To make things that seem big when you're normal, I'm going to shrink my world down so that I'm dinosaur sized. You can see I've got the entire room here. Now, when I build the city, Back at normal size, the city should surround me. So I've got my tableau here. Now when I use the straight edge tool with most of our tools, it's going to add the lock feature to my thumb on the paintbrush. To build a city, I also want to make it fairly big volume wise. Now on normal size, I could use tools like the hull brush. And I could define an area, whoops, let's turn off the straight edge for a moment, define an area, pull down, define an area, to start making these types of shapes. Whether I want to make sort of a triangle shape, or if I want to make a square as I can get shape, and then down to a square as I can get shape, that's one way to build these freehand. With freehand, I don't really have the lock me mechanism, so you can see they're a little wobbly, they're a little organic, and depending on your city, that could be okay. If I really want to keep things regular, four squares in a row type of city, I'm going to undo these guys, and now I'm going to reactivate that straight edge. If you use the hull brush, I'm going to go to a matte hull, and the straight edge, it does not let you make a square and then pull down. With a straight edge, it's always going to be just a straight line with a hull brush. If we look at it closely, the hull brush is always a perfect square when you make the line. So I'm going to make my whole world tiny and make my brush really big. Now when I do the straight edge make a square, you can see how that square is actually pretty big. So I'm going to use a combination of straight edge and the lock. When I start drawing, you can see how my thumb becomes the lock. Now I've got this freestanding rectangle. There's a very slight point to the top. If I bring this close to the camera, you can see how there is that shape to it. So now I'm going to go in at slightly different sizes, lock, but now I'm going to make sure they line up as far as the rows and columns go. So now I'm going to make it a slightly different size, slightly different size here. This time I'm even going to make it directly above it, so I've got this tower coming off that building. Or maybe I'll make it very small, very big, and just do a very low, wide building. Now I'll get some smaller buildings. Lock so it's perfectly straight up and down. And I just want to watch out for keeping them so they've got that same straight alignment with whatever my camera is. lock. Line it up and let go. So now I've got these buildings. You can see how they're all lining up nice. They're all nice and vertical. Now maybe I'll even go in with some different shades of gray. So we'll recolor you that color. We'll recolor you. Oops, a little too much color in there. Recolor you. 
and you and you, and we'll get a little bit of a darker one for you and you, and we'll change to a dark one. Now we're getting this city. If I wanted to now take these buildings and multiply them, my selection tool, either manually select them or some of our systems like the PC, I can select all and duplicate. And now I can start making more, maybe change their size, change their orientation, get more buildings happening for this one city. The hull brush isn't the only tool as well. So I'm going to go into this city here. The spikes and the lofted are other ways to get nice buildings. So I'm going to make it small. Choose the lofted. This one is also a four-sided shape, but you can see how this one is much more pointed on the ends. So I could use it, for example, lock. Those buildings aren't exactly straight up and down. Let's get back to my original buildings here. Go back to my lofted lock. Get it to line up. A little smaller. I'm out from here. Get it so I'm in the middle of the building. Lock. Now I'll use my selection tool. Dropping down right in the middle there. Now we're getting even more different styles to our buildings, different tops. We can now build more structures within our city. So lofted gives us a nice point on the top. Likewise, spikes gives us points, but this one is a three-sided shape. Here, I'm going to lock it so it's nicely straight up and down. You can see how that one is a three-sided point instead of the four-sided point the lofted gives you. So this would be great for things like uh, San Francisco. We'll have some nice pyramid buildings, that type of thing. Whatever you think is appropriate. We're going to do uh, Seattle. So maybe we'll get some of the disk tools and we'll make a space needle in the background, that type of thing. So once we've got this city going, we can now start multiplying these buildings, copy and paste these buildings, or just keep freestyling more and more. Not only do we want to change colors, but we can do things like add decoration. So I'm going to find one of my flat tools. We'll give it a, a vastly different color. Keeping our lock so that we can keep it following these buildings. Now I'll do this one much smaller, but we'll do a, several of these. You can see how I'm just drawing straight lines using the lock tool to make sure they all straight say stay straight up and down. Now let's take this variety, select everything. I'm going to go small so we can see all these pieces here. Oops. Duplicate, except I want to undo that because I you'll notice by moving it, it wasn't quite straight up and down anymore. So duplicate. Now then. Now here's the issue when you're doing copy and paste is there's no lock option. So you just have to be a little more careful as we get things lining up, trying to keep things as up and down perpendicular as possible. Especially as we're doing things like changing size, changing scale on these objects. So I can add more at different sizes so they feel like they're different pieces. If you're not very steady with one hand, actually grabbing it with two hands can often give you more control on keeping it stable. Two-handed gives you two control points. Now, let's see if we can do this at different sizes. In fact, I'm going to overlap those guys. Unselect. Now I've got my city going even farther. 
So a simple rectangle shapes locked in place really gives us a lot of structure here, a lot of, a lot of different buildings. Now we can start bringing in things like the dots. Now I'm going to give myself a little bit more of a yellow light. Nice pale yellow here. Smaller dots. Lock. Come over here. Lock horizontal. Anything you can do, there we go. Anything we can start to do, let's make it so we can see these guys. To start to get those types of effects, enhance the buildings, now we start getting in different colors. Maybe not do every single line. Let's go a little more uh, pale bluish for this guy. And we're going to change the size so the dots are a lot smaller. There we go. Even though I copy and pasted the original buildings, I can now go in with these tools and start really making, even though they're the same piece, we're going to give them different in details, different highlights, so that even though it's the same shape, it feels like it's a different building. And the more variety you get, the more rich this city starts to feel. But we're not done yet. This is still very static, and we're in VR. We can get some animation into here as well. And again, cities tend to be straight lines. We could do broad curves in interesting places, but overall, keeping that straight edge will help. Here, I've got this broad avenue here. So I'm going to keep the straight edge, but now I'm going to go white using the streamers and actually pull some streamers like that and then turn them red and pull them back the other way. Ah. If this was New Zealand or the United Kingdom, I might put them on opposite sides. But now we can start to get motion. We can start to get animation. Maybe I'll go back here and we'll just add a few going in different directions in the different main colors just so we can maintain a little bit of movement. Uh, of course, now we can't see them because I did them amongst the back buildings. But now we can get some movement in here. Let's get a couple cross streets going, that type of thing, to help bring our city to life. Even more so, up above, we've got those Christmas tree. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. It's one of the seldom used. Here we go, light wire. I'm going to make these buildings pretty big for a moment. Here's the top of one of my skyscrapers. I'm going to use, but just get one or two. There we go. Maybe start lower so I can get a different color light in here. Ah, this starts to look interesting. Now I'm going to find another building over here. We'll get a couple of lights on him. So as I start going around to my different buildings, keeping these fairly small, so different buildings can have different lights on top. Some buildings may have several. There's a small one. I don't like that one. There we go. These little details, now the city is starting to really come to life and not just feel like a picture of a city, but something we can interact with, something we can play with, something we can wander around. These are the types of details that set this off from just a normal picture. There we go, one back there, we'll get a couple back here. Don't forget how to play with these guys to try to get different colors happening, that type of thing. There's a nice bright blue one. 
So now this city is starting to feel a little more thing. Now if I go back to human scale, I can now wander around this environment looking at these buildings, looking at these pieces from within. So I built this entire little city just in a few minutes using the basic tools. That's just the starting point. For those of you who like atmosphere, we can now bring in very subtle levels of dark smoke, for example. Let me find my smoke and make it pale dark. Just to add atmosphere amongst the back buildings, that type of thing. So let's get some details like that. And you'll notice while you're drawing them in and amongst them, you might not notice them as much. But once we pull back to the final features, now we can see how things like smoke can give us distance. Let's even grab this whole city. I'm going to select everything once again. You can see I've just grabbed the whole city. Duplicate and put the whole thing in the distance. So we're going to make it small. And I'm going to do it a couple of times going through here. Okay. Make it a little more environmental. So now as we look around, we see these small buildings and details in the distance. This whole piece put together very quickly. You can see if you really spend a lot of time, you can make a unique city with specific little landmarks. Now that I've got the overall city, now I'm going to put statues or airplanes or anything that makes this city from generic into a real place, a place with character and distinct landmarks and things. So this is just quick tools at how to make a fun city using Tilt Brush in virtual reality. Now that you've got the basics, feel free to go crazy. I'm now King Kong size running around the city or expand it so I'm now a little guy on the street level. Have fun with it. Experiment with it. Change it. Share it with friends on Polly. And let us know in the comments below if you have questions or if you've got great cities you want to show off. We're willing to, to showcase the best of them. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm going to write our usual message. I just need to turn off my uh, uh, usual, uh, my straight lines here. So thanks, everybody. Let's get a lovely city background here for you when I write my message. We do this every week, uh, both for Tilt Brush and Sculptor VR and other art programs. We also do live art painting to music, that type of thing. This is all on YouTube.com slash Shameless Mayhem, but also done live on Twitch TV slash Shameless Mayhem. So thanks for joining us. I look forward to seeing what cities you create. Have fun, everybody.